are actually. This is a lovely basket. Mm -hmm. Now, let's have a look. Okay, I'm just going to teach how to... They are quite thick. Make the tops disappear. It doesn't matter. But we're going to... I think we'll bring them all out. Let's see where they are. Let's get them all take all my twining off. I yeah, we'll take your last... We'll, we need your last row of twining. Let's see where it is. Um... Well, how many rows was... I'm just going to take all the twining off, okay? Well, okay. But there's I, only one circle of it, I think. Okay, there we are. Oh, I see. You hadn't tried before. Okay. So there's now what we here. do is we fold everybody down. Just a moment. I have to get this one out. Okay, okay I'm going to use them again, so that's fine. Okay, that's where it starts. That's oh, good. Excellent. So we've got one twiner and one twiner. There we are. There we are. So what we do, first of all is we bend them down. To the front? To the front. Okay. And we let them stay out, but I'll do them as I go, I think, otherwise I might... So I'm gonna fold that one back down, okay. and I'm gonna twine over him so he's folded. Where's the back one now? Now we're gonna fold that one over. Oh, I see what you mean. So you're, you're folding it over one of the rows of twining? Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna do three rows in the end. These are my twiners here. This one will come forward. I'm going to have to join. Um, that one will come behind there. Now, so and that went where? One, that went on the inside? Uh, well, I've tw I'm twining. So I'm doing... Okay, right on the inside. I'm going one behind and one in front. Okay. But what basically what I'm doing is I'm folding them. So I've got a line up here that I'm going to put my string through. When, I, when I've got them all folded down. Oh, now, let's see how the little fellow goes. Right here. He should be... Yeah. I think we should... Oh, here it is. One there. That's Where's the one at the back? That's the one at the back. I'm going to put another one in here, because I think we're going to... Um, perhaps we'll put it in after the next one. As, I, as long as I keep my two weavers, then I'm going to fold this one down, and I'm going to bring the back weaver over in front and behind the folded one. Okay. Now we've got two weavers again. We'll leave him folded down. I think we might add another one at this point, otherwise it's going to be a little bit skinny. So let's put another one in here. Am I, go am I going in there just behind? Yes, I yes. am. There we are, they'll come together. They'll look after each other. I'll come behind, in front, and it's got to be folded down here. There we are. Yes. And this is the next one that's coming in front. He's there. You need okay, to add another, bring one. another one in there. So, did you peel all this this morning? N no, it was all in rolls. I already oh, had well it. Oh, done. This morning, I made a baby blanket. Did you? Mm. What fun! On your loom? No, on my. Um, no, I. I've been working on. I just had to quilt it. Oh my goodness! So, well, which was just the sewing machine. Yes. So you had a multi-task day. Yes. Yes. Now why have I only got one here? This there, is, that one. I think your, he's this one. This is the. Uh, this is what I think. It was the. This other? is the same one, and there's the other one down there. So this is this is my pair. Mm -hmm. There we are, this comes behind. That's what I did all sorts of things this morning. I fiddled around, got all sorts of messages done, and I got my loom done. Lead. I was thinking, actually, you know, it's a very interesting, we lead very interesting lives. And I was thinking about this this morning. We're, we're really Renaissance women. Mm. So I got up this morning and I was on my computer. And I was using my computer skills. And then I went, I think, and I used my gardening skills. And I went downstairs and I did my gardening and I got my garden thing all ready. And then I did my cooking skills and I did my cooking, you know, and then I came and did my weaving. I mean, it's just amazing how many things we have to, how many skills we use during the morning, you know, as, as a housewife or as mm -hmm. whatever you like to call it. And then I did some ordering and I, I want to, I don't want him to be too low because I got to get my, there we are, where's my, my, that's one. And there's the other. This is the one that's going to come forward. So hold him so he's folded. 
So this is just making sense to you now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And my other this one is here. So that's my next one to come. And these are my two. Something happened to that. I think this is part of this piece here. There we go. Okay, so we'll fold him all. There we go. <clears throat> no, this is this one. My fingers haven't done this for a bit, but they know what they've got to do. Mm. Oopsie. Him down. We could go down there, I think. I'll bring this one forward. Actually, you could do this, Nancy. Yes, you? I could. You could see what I'm doing, huh? I mean, the important thing is to leave as a... Leave a, enough sticking up still. I, I think I've got this person. He's going behind and round. Now this is the next person. Mm -hmm. That's the same. Because that's all one, isn't it? Yes, I believe. Oh, no, wait. No, it's two. It? There. I come. There I we should... go. Now this comes over. No, I think I should be there. I think this one. I this don't is... you, you can see better than I can. This is one. This, this and this. Next one. Okay. I was thinking about my long ones. That one comes behind there. And then I've got this one. You know, they say blind people make baskets, but I don't know that it would be very easy to do this if you were blind. Oh, this is two of them. That, oh, no, that, that's that, the same that's one. He, he belongs to that one. Yeah, Does it's he? the same. I'll bring this one back. Oh, sorry. Got him on the wrong side. There we go. Oh, no, he's got to go. He's a multi one. And you said blind people make baskets? Yeah, they do. But, you know, you have to see quite a lot to make a basket. I, I, I think they don't try and see. Louise says that's where I go wrong. I shouldn't try and see. I should do feeling. Mm. But I, I don't. Well, this um, goes behind here. And this is this one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Once we've got them organised, we, we can... It's no problem at all. I, th I I don't know. I think blind people made very, um, oops, stay down. There we go. Very, very automatic baskets. I, don't, I think they probably did the same thing all the time. And their hands got used to feeling. I had a blind person in my basketry class once. And it was very tough because I had a big class. And she was very lucky she had friends. Except half the class spoke German. Hmm. There were a whole German gang of people that came, which was nice to have a different culture, but they were rather annoying. They kept talking in loud voices all the time. And of course, nobody really knew what they were saying. <laughs> we all hoped they were being nice about us. I mean, they were, they were Canadian as well, they were, but they dominated the class, about four of them, I think, and one of them was blind. Hmm. It's an extraordinary experience teaching. You know that you had to sort of be very diplomatic. We might not have. We got any more? Mm, yeah, this. we have a little more. Do we? Oh, good. So I mean, we now we've got this done. I think that's almost that round. We're going to need a join here. We got a bit. Can we got a? Oh, we have. Oh, good. Because basically we've done the difficult one now. Because mm -hmm. nice, basically we're just going to trot round now and you can do it and do pairing. Now we just pair. And I mean, I don't know how many really... So we've just done twining. We've twined, yes. And now we're going to pair. No, well, same thing. Oh, Sorry. I see. Twining, twining is pair. pairing. Yeah, okay. Depends what you're doing. Some people call it... We call it twining actually with weaving and pairing with basketry. That's the official. Hmm. Now we do a second row. This is oh, just... I don't know. I don't think we have enough now. Well, we'll, we, I, we'll have to do what we've got. Okay. I don't think it will come undone. Usually we do three rows. Oh, really? Yes. When they're folded over like this? Yes. In fact, you might. But how, when you pull them down, there's nothing in the middle? Because there's going to be string. 
Oh, we're going to put some string in put at string the end. Actually, well, maybe we should use this as our string and put this around. No, we just, we usually use ordinary string. Oh, I see. Just uh, ordinary string. I'm wondering if you should take it home and finish it at home. Okay. Because whether you should do another, I don't know whether one row will be enough. So you think I should put three rows on there? Well, it'll look nicer with And then three. I put string through all those. Well, we can put the string on now. Okay. We thread the string round. Okay. No, we have to do the pairing underneath because otherwise... The, the pairing will be on top of the string. pairing will be on top of the string, which probably wouldn't matter. Normally what we did was yes, three... Yes, it would fall off when we pull these down. Yes, normally we do three rows. And I don't know, I mean, I don't think this would come undone, actually, if we just left it with one. But normally we do three. I think we'll put the string through. You mean you put the string through anyway and just your one row and it might work? Well, I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. I don't see why not. I mean, it would be neater, perhaps, and it would be more solid with three. We'd get this one. You know, there'd be more to hold it down. Yes. We've only got one to hold it down. So you know what you can imagine? You do one, two, one, two three rows at the top. Mm -hmm. Then you put the string in and then you pull them down. And because you've and got the a string, string is holding them the string that holds them up. Okay. And then you can take each little one and you can go snip, snip, snip and make a little frill at the bottom mm -hmm. or dip up and down. But, you know, you can play with the ends. The way they look, yeah. When you pull them down. But they've only got one row up here. And I've only got raffia. I haven't got anything that... Okay, well, I should have brought more with me. I didn't, I didn't think of it. You know... But I, I mean, I'm just thinking it might be more secure that way, okay. rather than trying to do it with only two. But but do two more rows and just push them down. Okay. Here's one here, and one's here, and and then get a darning needle and put a bit of string round. Okay. And hide the knot under one of them. Okay. And then down. Okay. Which is fun. Mhm. Mm and then you just do a little bit on the end here. You either, you know, you're going to go sort of up. And down, up and down, or I think, or you know, make so you're not going to tuck them into the no, tuck no, them in no, here. no, they're down just to hide the ends. Well, yes. the the end you do it to make it look give it a little bit of a okay, so there'll be entertainment ends, there'll be entertainment or, ends, or whatever. <laughs> I mean, you could is. put them in, but there's really no point because okay. once they're bent and they're and they're pared down and they're strung, mm -hmm. they're not going to come out, you see. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a very nice, easy way of doing it, really, mm -hmm. because it just holds them all down. And then this looks quite nice. They don't, you know, I mean, it's, I think it's nice. It's very nice. You have been busy. I like the way you've done the other, the, the outside and the inside, mm -hmm. the dark and the light. It's but fun. if you look on the inside, it looks like it's all light. Yes. Except that one row. Isn't it funny, isn't it? I I peeled them, you see. Yes. Yeah, so, so the you've ones got the that inside. are peeled, yes. or the, that are in They're half. Lovely, okay. Mm, I do love cedar, you know. Mm. I really would love to do some more baskets. I feel with my museum, I'm getting all keen to do baskets again. Mm -hmm. Because really, it is such fun, isn't it? And I don't think that's a matter. I think when you do another row or two on top, they'll, they'll get lost. Mm -hmm. The great thing is it doesn't come undone. I think that's lovely. Alrighty then. Another whole container. No, as if I great. didn't have enough. I know. What are you going to use this for? I have no idea. I know. Isn't that fun? I, I didn't want a little tiny one because I won't use those. I just, I don't have much things. No, the only thing, the little tiny one I had on the um, pot can was to put pencils and things in. Mm. You know, or something on your desk. Mm -hmm. I guess a little tiny one would be good for earrings or something, you know? Yeah, or, you know, something in the kitchen you want to stick. Or, I mean, usually I use them for pencils mm. or, I don't know, things. Mm -hmm. But I've got lots too. <laughs> I've got lots. <laughs> Every time when Kirsten came to do my catalogue, She'd walk around the house, and it was so funny. She'd talk, Anchor, there's some more, there's more, there's more here. Because I'd say, I've done them all. No, no, we haven't. There's another one in the kitchen, there's two in the bathroom, there's another mm. one over here. Because I like to use them, I think, you know. I know, yes. You know. That was my problem with doing pottery. I, I have to make sure I only make as many things as I can I deal with. I don't want to have things that just sit there. I know, I quite agree. And I found a little bit like that with pottery too. Still, I mean, there's always everybody you can give them to. Mm -hmm. so I, well, that's what I did. I made 110 bowls, and I gave them to all the family for Christmas. The nine <laughs> kids, I said, take, you have 10 each, 11 each. <laughs> oh, that was great. 
Mm-hmm. But how did you did you all did you fire them? And- oh yeah, I have to come. Yes. So I fired them and glazed them, fired them again.